Okay, so that's going to wrap up the Cisco CLI mode lesson. If you're just starting out in the Cisco world, I would strongly suggest investing just a few bucks uh, into an old router. This does not have to be state of the art. It's uh, January of 2010 as I record this. I know that Cisco 2500 you can find for like 25 bucks on eBay. If you're outside the United States, sometimes the shipping gets to be a pain in the ass. Anything you get your hands on that's running Cisco iOS, get on it and play with this. What I'm saying is, don't fuck with this in production. Uh, get used to the different CLI modes, get into configuration mode. Uh, go ahead and take a look at the video lesson on hardening routers and uh, how to set up enable passwords and uh, VTY line passwords, that type of stuff. But you know, just get a good feel for it because honestly, as a uh, network engineer, you're going to spend so much time on a terminal emulator connected to the Cisco CLI issuing commands so you're gonna to wanna to have a lot of practice on that the other route to go and this is a route that uh, most of the packet lab lessons here will emphasize is that you can install GNS3 which is uh, running Dynamips emulation you just have to get a single router up get in there and just play around you don't have to have a complicated topology like I said just a single router practice uh, enable your show privilege command practice uh, configuration mode configuring an enable password I'll have a lab that goes along with this it goes through all the basics but like I said router emulation is great the only thing that you really can't do on that is you can't invoke Raman mode I believe I, I'll check to see if I can hack that I think that if I specify a non-existent iOS image that you might be able to hack that anyways I'm getting way off base like I said whichever method you choose uh, either with cheap real equipment or with an emulated router get on there and just practice especially in exec mode if you're not in configuration mode there's really not a lot that you can do to screw stuff up so go ahead and explore some of the show commands uh, play with uh, Cisco iOS help do the Cisco iOS command autocomplete with the tab key try some of your keyboard shortcuts uh, go through other lessons for that but just get on there and get some hands on on the CLI because as a network administrator, like I said, you're going to be spending an awful lot of time doing this. Anyways, thanks again for joining me in the Packet Lab. I hope this was beneficial, and I hope to see you again. Bye.